Hi, first grade, and welcome back to our reading of Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. So today we are going to be reading the very last chapter of Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. And today we kind of have an important job. Now throughout our whole story, we have really noticed that Mouse and Mole are really good friends and they treat each other pretty nicely. So our job today is to see if we can find out more examples of how Mole and Mouse are good friends. So the chapter we are going to be reading is called The Boat. So we had to think about all of the ways that Mouse and Mole are good friends. And let's see if we can find different ways that Mole and Mouse prove that they're really great friends. Are you ready? All right, here we go. The boat. Mole knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. Good morning, Mole, said Mouse. Good morning, Mouse, said Mole. I hope you like surprises. I love surprises, squeaked Mouse. Don't tell. Let me try to guess. It has to do with water, whispered Mole. Mouse twirled her tail. It had not rained in two days. The flowers in the garden were starting to droop. She hopped up and down on one foot. Is it a rain dance? guessed Mouse. Nope, said Mole. Not a rain dance. Mouse waved her arms back and forth as if she were casting a line. Are we going fishing then? No, not fishing either, said Mole. Mouse scratched her ears. She was hot from hopping up and down. Her arms were tired from waving back and forth. Swimming? She squeaked hopefully. Wrong again, said Mole. Follow me. They hiked along the path to the pond. Let's stop for a second and think about how might Mouse be feeling right now? She's waiting for a surprise and she keeps guessing and she's not guessing the right thing. How do you feel when you're waiting for a surprise? Yeah, I think that Mouse might be feeling a little anxious nervous, but excited, because surprises are usually a great thing. So I think she might be feeling a mix of emotions, right? Happy, but a little nervous, because she's not sure what it is. Let's make a prediction. What do you think the surprise is that Mole has for Mouse? What might the surprise be? All right, let's continue reading to find out. There in the water was a boat. Surprise! shouted Mole. My, what a beautiful boat! said Mouse. I have only one paddle, though, said Mole. No problem, said Mouse. We'll take turns. Good thinking, Mole smiled. Off they went. Mole paddled and paddled. Then he paddled some more. His arms were getting sore. They had passed the willow tree three times. Uh-oh. I think we're going in circles, said Mouse. Here, let me try. Mouse paddled and paddled. Then she paddled some more. Soon, Mouse's arm bega arms began to ache. Hmm. Let's stop for a second and think. Do you think Mouse and Mole are showing an example of how they're good friends on this page? Give me a thumbs up if you think they are. I agree. I think they are also. What are they doing that's showing that they're good friends? Yeah, if you said that they are taking turns paddling, 
then, oh, sorry friends. <laughs> if you said that they're taking turns paddling, then yeah, that's exactly right. They are, that's something that good friends do. They take turns and they work as a team. They passed the willow tree three more times. Only now, they were headed in the opposite direction. You're right, Mouse, said Mole. We are definitely going in circles. Both Mouse and Mole were hot and tired from all the paddling. Let's go for a swim, suggested Mole. They dove into the water. Mouse splished, Mole splashed. How refreshing! They climbed back into the boat. Mouse twirled her towel. Mole rubbed his snout. I have an idea, squeaked Mouse. Why not switch paddling more often? Good thinking, Mole chuckled. At least we won't tire as easily. Pretty soon, Mouse and Mole were zipping across the pond. When they reached the other side, it was time to turn around. Mouse and Mole were experts at turning around. Ouch! squeaked Mouse. Something is nibbling on my tail. She yanked it out of the water. A fish, a fish hopped into the boat. Way to go, said Mole. Our first fish. Mouse and Mole hopped up and down in celebration. They waved their arms back and forth at the sky. Then it began to rain. Uh-oh. The next day, Mouse knocked on Mole's door. Tap, tap, tap. I have a surprise for you, whispered Mouse. Let me guess, Mole clapped. Like Mouse, he too was fond of surprises. It has to do with pears, she said. Do you mean pears like on a tree? Asked Mole. Or pears like mittens? Like mittens, said Mouse. Only not mittens. Mole rubbed his snout. He kicked the dirt, dirt with his feet. A claw popped out of one shoe. Is it shoes or socks? Guessed Mole. Nope, not shoes, not socks, said Mouse. Let's think for a second. Why do you think Mouse is giving Mole a surprise? Yeah, maybe she wants to repay him since Mole gave her a surprise the next day. The day before, I mean. Um, maybe she just wants to be a kind friend to him. Who knows? What do we think the surprise might be? Make a prediction and whisper it into your hands. What might Mo Mouse's surprise be for Mole? Let's find out. She disappeared behind the tree. Surprise! Out jumped Mouse. She handed Mole a paddle decorated with ribbons. Now we have a pair of paddles. A pair, said Mole. Like you and me. Together they hopped up and down, dancing in circles all around the oak tree. Mole waved the paddle back and forth at the sky. Plip, plop. Down came the rain once again. Mouse and Mole's garden never looked better. Wow, friends, I hope you really liked that story, Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. I know I really enjoyed it. Now, throughout this story, we saw a lot of examples of how Mouse and Mole are really great friends. So right now, I want you to think about some of the examples that they showed. Why are Mole and Mouse really great friends? Yeah, some of you may have said that Mouse and Mole make a really great team and they're always taking turns and they're always kind to one another, making sure that each other 
be all happy and they give each other surprises and that's something fun and exciting that they do and they're always going on adventures together, fun adventures. Now, I want you to think about what might be a lesson that the author taught us about being good friends in this book. What's a lesson about being good friends that they may have taught us? Yeah, so one of the lessons that we might have learned in this book that great friends always work together as a team. And you can get a lot of thing, things accomplished when you work together instead of arguing about things like mouse and mole. They didn't argue about who had to paddle the boat. They both worked together and guess what? They got the job done. All right, friends, I hope you had a really great time reading and finishing Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. Uh-oh, my video keeps stopping today, sorry. I hope you had a really great time reading this book with me. I know I loved this book, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.